I think the insurance and practice program uh, it plays a great, a great role uh, within the industry. Uh, but most importantly, it actually showcases the tremendous talent uh, of the young people uh, that are actually working in the industry at the moment. What um, appeals to me about the, the insurance apprentice is that it also gives a learning experience for the apprentices themselves. And I also think it's a good opportunity for them to profile themselves so that people can actually see what talent we have. There's been over uh, about 110 applicants, so I actually think the eight that we have right now are the, are the cream of the crop. We've got quite a hungry and ambitious bunch here, so it's going to be very difficult to pick somebody to, to, to win here. What I'm looking for in, the, in terms of the apprentice, I'm looking for somebody who's quite versatile, who doesn't just look at areas they're only experts in, but can contribute across all spheres, and somebody who can also show resilience uh, throughout the whole process. Well, Voyeur, my um, expectations of the apprentices would be that uh, the teams thoroughly understand each person of the team is supposed to, to contribute and we wanna get, uh, we're going to watch that very, very closely. It's quite important that they work well, but also stand out as well um, in terms of uh, showing that they are the, the best and the deserving winners. The, the winner of the insurance apprentice, to my mind, should be the person that actually consistently provides the glue in each of the teams that he or she operates. I do hope that this season's apprentices show their professionality and they really shine throughout all their tasks. And I sincerely believe that we actually going to get uh, a lot of pleasure out of working with the apprentices and together. Uh, all I want to say to the contestants is good luck and have fun. My name is Alicia Narain Sami. I represent Auto in General, KZN. I believe, sorry, I know that I'm going to be the next insurance apprentice. I'm currently doing a double major in industrial psychology and communication science. Being young and in this industry, people often judge you by your appearance or how little you know of insurance based on, the hum on how many years you've been in the industry. And I want to kick that stigma out. I've learned to be bold, to be strong, and to speak up when need be. My A game is to befriend, befriend all. I don't think I'm going to be too loud or too soft, but creating the balance would be my priority here. I will build the relationships, but knowing that they are my colleagues, I'm all for motivating and elevating, but at the end of the day, it's only one winner that takes all. My name is Andre Brooks. I'm an account manager at Price Forbes. I think I'll win the insurance apprentice because I'm, I'm a team player. And I've, I've played team sports for, for most of my life and that's taught me to be a good team player whilst at the same time being, being a leader, in, being a leader in, my, in my own rights as well. I've had the privilege of working on both sides of the insurance industry, being an underwriter, starting as an underwriter and then broken. I, I have a, a, a degree of adaptability to everything I do. I'm a, I'm a good problem solver. I'm, I'm able to think on my feet. I plan on balancing um, the, team, the team dynamics with the fact that there can only be one insurance apprentice winner with just being myself. I will play to my strengths and hopefully that, that will shine through and, and put me in the forefront of winning this competition. Winning will mean the world to me. I mean, the, the support I received from, from my family and my friends you know, in coming to this competition has been amazing. Winning would mean everything and, and I intend to give everything I can to, to be the next insurance apprentice. Hello, my name is Selena Bima. I work with Hollard Insurance Company and I'm part of the Marine Division. So why I believe I would be the next insurance apprentice of 2016 is because, yes, I do have a technical skill which is probably marine related, but it's more than just that. I have a passion for learning. I don't feel I need to be ruthless. I need to be myself. I'm very, very cognizant of the fact that people come first, but it's all about people and helping people and solving problems. I generally don't come across as dominant and loud. Winning for me means winning within myself, upholding my integrity, upholding the trust that I have within myself, and upholding my values. That's winning to me. I want to win. I'm Chris Colson. I work for Ace Insurance and I'm a property underwriter. I tried out the first year and wasn't successful 
And as I'm a motivated person, I decided to enter the second year and it's paid off. I believe the insurance apprentice has created a platform for me to demonstrate my out-of-the-box thinking. I believe I'm a team player and also have leadership qualities. I work well within the team as I read people well. With the tasks that we've been asked to do, I think they want a little bit more. They don't want a stock standard approach. They want some innovative thinking. When you're innovative in this competition, each daily task will be different. So you'll have to see what resources you have available. And you also have to get the buy-in from your team. And I think a strong leader would, have to, would get the buy-in from the team. And that's why you need to be a team player as well as be a natural leader. Right now, I'm still a little bit nervous, but I think going through the competition, I'm going to build up a lot of confidence. And I think I'm going to hopefully surprise a lot of people, including the judges, as well as my, my peers and my, my and the fellow contestants. Hi, my name is Karabo Kopeka. I am from Holland Insurance Company. I believe that I have what it takes to win the insurance apprentice. I have a very strong academic background and I take what I do very seriously. I think I'm very, very emotionally intelligent. I'm very analytical, but I am also able to put my points across. Personally, I'm one who's able to choose when to talk, when not to talk, what to say and what not to say. For me to win this competition, I am going to be able to, to read every situation well. So being able to support the team when there's a need to support and being able to take a leadership role when I'm being called upon to do that. I believe what it takes to win a competition is understanding and having a heart of a winner, having the, the, the soul of a champion to take everything that you have that you've learned over the years and to stand on the shoulders of those that have guided you along the way. Hi, I'm Priya Govinda. I work currently for Mutual and Federal. By trade, I am a lawyer. I've got my LLB degree as well as, well as a National Diploma in Forensics. I am the correct person for the Insurance Apprentice due to my experience as well as my skill and my qualification. I believe that I bring to the table um, a lot of skill, a lot of energy, a lot of innovation. I am a people's person. I have empathy towards people. The strongest part of me is to understand people and where they're coming from. I think listening is a very understated tool that people don't use nowadays and, I, and that's one of my tools that I'm going to be using. Listening, understanding and comprehending and then obviously understanding the objective of what's being asked. I would definitely love to win but I would not do anything it takes to win. I believe in ethics, integrity. Um, I believe it's the cornerstone of who I am, the cornerstone of my value system. I plan to win by being the best version of myself, by being authentic to who I am. My name is Richard David Cunliffe. I work for Aon Benfield. I have a huge drive and desire to not just be in the insurance industry, but be a competitive force within the industry as well. Something that will help me within the competition is my ability to coordinate on top of lead. I always take everyone's view into consideration and I'm able to combine that in order to make um, effective decisions that need to be made. Uh, sometimes it, it's a bit tough making a decision and that's where a leader really stands out. I like to take a back seat and understand a situation carefully before I say anything, but when I do, I say what I mean, I stick to the facts, and I am results driven. I actually feel I've already won. Being in the top eight has been a wonderful experience. Winning really would, it would give me some of the recognition that I feel I deserve for uh, being a real advocate, a real fighter for the insurance industry. Hi there, my name is Unati Ndengo. I'm 31 years old. I work for Marsh and McLennan Companies. I'm an account executive. One of my key attributes is communication. I'm fluent in both English, Afrikaans, Isikosa and Zulu. I believe that um, communication is very key. My technical knowledge um, is, is my key attribute apart from communications. What makes a true leader is someone who's true to himself, uh, someone who has values such as integrity, I've got three most important things um, that I value the most, which is family, um, health, and integrity. Being talkative or trying to um, you know, bulldoze yourself uh, or 
um, you know, to come across as if you know everything uh, doesn't really work for this competition. I think just being yourself uh, is what I picked up as the key attribute or a good strategy uh, for one to stand a good chance to uh, win this competition. And if you do lack and you don't know the answer, do not speculate. Man, you know what? Let me write it down because it's a simple thing. It's cheap. <laughs> you don't install me with a lot of confidence. You guys just didn't get it at all. I can assure you now that this is not true. It's not at all reflecting of what you picked up there. I don't think you did very well at all. You walked into an ambush and you weren't prepared for that. It was a very poor performance. I found you a little bit destructive to your team. Both teams butchered. I think the challenge to you is this is a game that's going to get competitive now at the end. Unfortunately, it's you that has to go. 